Okay, so here's what our deck's supposed to do. We got eight mana guardian. We got remitter. Let's see what we get for the ten drop. There's six tens. Three of them very good. Three of them not very good. Let's see if we get lucky. Get a good one. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next Beam Tier Monday deck. We're going to be playing a deck we're calling Remitter Yetis. This is going to be another Yeti deck where we're going to have, you know, our all of the Yeti cards, Yeti Yearling, Avros and Trapper that makes, makes Enraged Yetis, Tall Tales, and Ancient Yeti, and then the new Yeti, Abominable Guardian. And so the goal here is to get two Yetis in play, have this Abominable Guardian go round start, you know, just summon me from hand. So we put Abominable Guardian into play, and then we're going to combo that with ethereal remitter if you don't know this card five mana shadow owls four three whenever you play it you kill any ally and then you summon a random follower that costs two more than that ally that you kill and so abominable guardian is an eight mana ally and so we will have remitter kill the abominable guardian and then put a random 10 cost follower into play because you know it costs eight eight plus two is ten so the 10 cost followers that we have, we have some options. We have She Who Wanders, great hit. You know, 10-10 regeneration, we'll take it. Scuttlegeist, uh, not so much. We have Plaza Guardian, you know, perfectly fine. Like 6-6 six, six quick attack is better than a 5-5. Five, five. Um, but, you know, not exactly what we want to hit. Arbor of the Peak, 6-6 oh, six, six Overwhelm, better than a 5-5, five, five, but not what we want to hit. But here's the real things that we want to hit. Atacon. Bringer of Ruin and Scythria Lady of Clouds. From the from the last two expansions, we've gotten two amazing 10 cost followers, and that's really the goal. Hopefully we hit either one of these. They will both be incredible, especially Scythria Lady of Clouds. That's going to be really the best one, but Atacon will be doing its thing too. So that's going to be kind of our goal. Have two Yetis in play, get this thing in play, and then remitter it and maybe turn it into Scythria or Atticon if, you know, one of those two, if we are lucky. So we have we have six total targets that it could hit, any one of these six. And like these two are incredible. This one also very, very, very good. But then three of them, not so good. So like half of them, not as good. And then half of them completely broken, <laughs> you know, so... We'll see how we do. All right, it's Remitter Yetis. It's a combo deck. It's Meme Tier Monday. Let's go play our five games and have some fun. JJ goes, the stalking nerf really grinds my gears. Yeah, I was surprised by that nerf. I was surprised by that one. Send it back, send it back. I could see going double Outriders, honestly, but I don't know. They're an Ionia deck, so they like bounce our stuff. You know what? Let's just send them both back. Okay, Dubs Trapper. Yeah, absolutely. Just because it's a meme tier deck doesn't mean it can't win games on ladder. And and yes, I think that this game, or sorry, this deck could definitely win a good amount of games on ladder for sure. Uh, the person that, that sent me this deck list, Kordek. Kordek makes a lot of very good decks and, uh, to send me. And, and uh, Kordek said that he, he used this deck to get from Diamond 4 to Diamond 3 in, in only like 10 games. So in order to do that in 10 games, you got to go like 7 and 3. My faith protects me. 8 and 2. Something like that. So that's a, you know. So yeah, it's a... It's a could be a pretty good deck. If you are lucky, this is the fastest way to be able to get Atticon or um, Scythria in play. You know, faster than Spectral Matron. Because you, you can get those, you know, round five if you're real lucky. Huh. The Snappa. Ha. I was hoping for the 8 drop. I, I'm taking the sentry because I'm going to still be able to have two yetis with the yeti yearlings. And as you can see, sentry does some good blocking. Ah. 
But of course, I was hoping for the A drop. Ah, oh, we still had the chance here, though. That's why I played the the ephemeral. Still have a chance there of drawing the A drop. Okay, didn't get it though. Didn't get it. Nothing escapes my watch. Tenacity to try. So I kind of have a not sure if I play this or not yet relationship with this Averroes and Trapper. Light the signal fires. It'd be, you know, it's good card, be good to play, but it puts the one mana and rage yeti into the top four, makes it a more diff or into the top three, makes it a more difficult proposition of drawing abominable guardian, which that's what we want to find right now. All, all I want to do is find abominable guardian for ethereal remitter. So I guess I don't play Avaros and Trapper in that respect. Nah, I guess I'll just play it. Yeah, pro should probably still play it. That's kind of the conclusion that I came to as well. Okay, Outriders is probably hitting that Enrage Yeti, turning it into an 8-8 Overwhelm. But if I go Ancient Yeti, I can just go Remitter on the 6-cost Ancient Yeti and turn it into a random 8-drop. Now... Do we get Scythria or Atticon? No, but random 8-drops are pretty good. There's some good random 8-drops. Some good random 8-drops. Wait, did we just miss? The odds of missing Allegiance were incredibly low at this point. One, there's five out of the 29 cards missed the... No, four. Four out of the 29 cards missed the Allegiance altogether. But then we also had a 50-50 shot of it being in Rage Yeti. So we had to miss the 50-50 shot of it in Rage Yeti, and then four of the other 28, and then hit a... 14% chance after that. So we had to miss a 50% chance and then get a like a 14% chance after that. The odds of missing allegiance right there were incredibly low. I did I did that instead of the six mana ancient yeti though because of troll chance because of them doing all this attacking it and stuff. Who goes there? Red carefully. <laughs> so I hope that's stalking shadows. Fine. It will be Ethereal Remitter. We've not had the luck today, right? Like, we're... <laughs> we're just trying to do, like, some cool meme tier stuff, and it's just never worked. Like, it's... If I told you, you know, it's not working for us right now. But thankfully, since they did this, we get to kill the Yasuo. I'm glad they didn't have... You know, any kind of just, like, a... You know, any kind of stun, stun card they just like play and keep me from killing the Asuo. Ready for the fight. Show them our team. Over there. Tread carefully. Alright, so they're waving goodbye to me whenever I set up my blocks like this. What are they doing? I don't know exactly what they're trying to... How, like, they get all this Nexus damage in that they're talking about. Can't really figure it out. I had the 3-1 block the 5-6 instead of the 6-6. Six six because of Blade Twirler's ability to grow. Why would you be sad about this? 
Isn't that like something very good for you? Why would you be sad about it? I don't understand. These old eyes still see far and clear. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. You could be so much better. So the Zevi is very interesting. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Question was, would Lissandra be a good champ for this deck? Well, Lissandra is the best champion in the game. Underestimate. I dare you. I could use two with me. So there's a there's a good chance there. But we're not this deck. To be honest, you're not really summoning the eight eight cost things very much. It's this this deck would honestly be kind of difficult to level up with Andra. I am the bulwark against darkness. Oh. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Behold the sun's holy light. Double trouble. I need to I, I need to kind of replace that with blockers. Yeah. You're gonna summon your own speed. It is time. <laughs> Bombal Yeti's on vacation. To me. Another full of fire. Ready the torches. One of the likes to emote. United, nothing can stop us. Six now. I think my best plan is because, like, I assume that they're going to want to like play a daybreak card next round, stun something, and like attack after they stun. So like, let them stun, and then replace the stun unit with the ice veil archer. Brittle steel can work out nice, especially against blade twirler. That was the worst possible thing to see. Robin created Morning Light. That was like the only. That was the only card for Robin to create that like would have been really terrible. They left me alone. That was a mistake. Well, that was too bad. I honestly really like this hand. There's no Abominable Guardian, no, but, you know, we have the Trapper for the Enraged Yeti. We have this thing counting down. We have the Tall Tails getting in play. Outriders doing its thing. Like, this is a good hand as far as what our deck is doing. I'm not going to play the Yeti Yearling because I want the three spell mana for the Tall Tails. Thought me smell something. Patience. So I have to assume this is an Atacon deck. Here. Yeah, it's got to be an Atacon deck. United, nothing can stop us. What did you find? Trail. Okay, 
These stories were true. So I know I could have stalked in shadows and got an extra copy of that, but I want to find my two combo pieces with stalking shadows. I don't want either. I don't. I don't want those. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should have just stalking that, but I mean, I need to dig. That's that's the thing. I was gonna use stalking to dig for, for like those, those two combo pieces that we have. Because I do think those combo pieces are very important. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Uh, uh, uh. Simpleton. Found you. You got a problem? Opponent is in full control now. Is I don't. I got a lot of cards and none of them are playable. I mean, Ice Hill Archer, I guess, is kind of playable. I think we need a little bit more stalking shadows in here. It's this combo seems really difficult to find. Maybe I need a. Do I need a Mulligan more? How do we get Ethereal Remitter and Abominable Guardian in a hand and then also have Yetis in play? Like, how do we do that consistently? It looks kind of difficult to do. Alright, so we know that our opponent has another 8 cost card because of, like, the whole beho behold an 8 plus cost card. So we know, like, that this Trundle is at least. Okay, like if it attacked, I was going to say it would at least have two power. Yes, Talking Shadows. Okay, Remitter isn't doing anything, but it's the card I need. Do we just make this attack? We can make, like, this attack. Um, this attack, the 5-6 the blocks this, 5-1. The 2-2 two, two blocks this. They take 8. The 2-2 two, two dies. They keep the Ice Pillar alive. We could do this attack. They block there. Okay, I kind of like this attack, actually. They look angry. Foolish child. Okay. I like that. With both champions dying, I'm, I'm very happy with that. So again, we know we know at least one card in their hand. At least one is plus is eight plus mana. We don't know any more than that, but at least one is eight plus mana. Wow, we're getting lucky. Another stalking shadows. We are getting lucky. We hit abominable guardian. No, no abominable guardian. All right, what about sentry? Sentry will draw more cards for us. Help us find this guardian. Nothing escapes my watch. The trolls are going to war. Win all. Make sense for how they had that set up. I can see the Demacian border from here. I'll knock them dead. Rack eyes and flesh! 
Three. Okay, so one additional one. Light the signal fires. Man, we are terrible at finding Abominable Guardian. <laughs> we have seen a ton of cards from last last game to this game, and we've seen zero Abominable Guardians. We've even seen all three Stalking Shadows, and yeah, we can't find it at all. That's this game. All right, well, 0-2. I like the Babbling Bjerg idea, though. The Babbling Bjerg, I like that a lot more than Call of the Wild. Okay, we finally found a Guardian. Good. Now we just have to find another Yeti. And this is a matchup kind of about size. I think I actually will keep the Outriders. Um, okay, so it only took, it only took, you know, over two games and over like four, like 30, 40 card scene. But finally, a bomb will guardian shows up. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Yeah, I was gonna say they're looking at their two mana vulnerable one and saying, "Man, these aren't." I'm not gonna brittle seal that right now. Oh, they double hit. All right, so they got the blind Rex eye hit. Their life is good. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, I basically always play in ranked, except for Monday. Monday is the one day of the the week that we don't play in ranked. We we play our meme meme tier decks on Monday, and just have fun in normal. The other six days of the week we play ranked. So if you like if you like ranked decks, ranked games, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the days of the week that we play ranked. Many tries, one Freljord. All right, we hit hit allegiance. Whenever I start playing Lurkers, you know, like I, you know, I'd have like these cards in my hand, and I have to like really look at like what, which cards what, because like I don't know, like these arts kind of seem like the same thing, like they're like the same colors, the same shape, they're going the same way with like everything, and it wasn't easy to. Why is this one bigger than the others? Like why is this one bigger than this one? It wasn't easy to like figure, you know, just like look like when you're just looking at the cards in your hand to know what cards what. Yeah, lurker sound effects are pretty good. Brittle Steel is awesome as usual. Brittle Steel is just such a good card, and it's great against these Lurker decks that are just playing 5 2, 6 2, 7 2s, you know, like all those things. I guess we don't get to attack. Why are some of these 6 twos and some of them 5 twos? I don't understand. 
Like, they're the, they're the same card. There's something going on there, but I don't understand what it is. Why no open attack, like right here? Because I can just put two more 5-5 five, five threats in play. Oh, but why no attack with the Guardian? Or, like, the previous round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to... Because, like... We had we had two Yetis in play and we had like this Guardian in our hand and so like if I if I attack with either of these then they block with the five two and trade and then I don't get the free Yeti. Yeah, Siphoning Strike is, is pretty popular in this deck because these two regions don't have great removal options. Oh, I guess I shouldn't play this thing, right? Cause, oh, I forgot about how I for. Yeah, I forgot how this is gonna work. Everything's dead. I, I, did, I don't even know why they're challenging other things. I guess all all my stuff's dead. Yeah, I shouldn't have played that other five five. But then, if I didn't play it, it would have. I guess it was just kind of unplayable then if I don't play it, right? Because it would just put the five five on top. I forgot about how like whenever Pike kills something. Level 1 Pike has the level 2 ability. Still doesn't make any sense to me, but... That's how Pike is. Okay. GG, opponent. GG. Good game. All, you know, the moves I made to the previous turns. But, uh, I mean, I guess this... If I would have open attacked and not let them siphoning strike, we still would not have killed them. They would have been able to survive with having, you know, another one of those bone skewers, so that's how that was. Troll Chain and Brittle Steel are both good cards, but we need some early blockers. We don't have any early blockers in that hand. Answer that after this, Dan. I guess I'll try to figure it out. I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Okay, so we're just going to pass again. No one's the wiser. Yeah, Miss Call could maybe work in the deck, but you can't. Like, if you're gonna play the Allegiance card, you know, maybe it wouldn't work. But no I kind of, I'm kind of, I'm warning I'm, that. I am warming up to the idea of playing. Let's kill this. Thing. Sorry, I'm warming up to the idea of playing Babbling Bjerg instead of the Allegiance card. I haven't been very impressed at all with the Allegiance card. Plenty of killing left. 
No, I mean, I couldn't block the sub to her. Didn't have a good block with the Misfortune ability. Need this Yeti alive for another round. Now we're starting to live the dream. We're starting to live the dream of Stalking Shadows hit Abominable Guardian and then be able to put a lot of Abominable Guardians into play. That's the dream. This is what our deck's supposed to be able to do. You can't do this. Judgment? <laughs> Doesn't it seem like a judgment right now? It's probably not a judgment. Don't get ahead of yourself. I mean, it's. Oh yeah, I was gonna say it's it's noxion fervor. Like that's what's going on here, but felt like a judgment. All right, 5, 10, 15, 21 damage. They will take it, and G to the G. All right, one and three. Gotta win. That's Abominable Guardian right there. Okay, Karma Heimer. Let's see if we can get a bunch of five fives in play. They're usually, five fives are usually really good against control decks. Wow, we have a Remitter and a Guardian. What did we do to deserve the actual combo? I don't know, but I'm going to just keep it. I'm not going to risk anything with just mulliganing a bunch of stuff and not having it anymore. So far today, we've played... This is our 15th game of the day. And so far, we've done what we've wanted our deck to do zero times out of the first 14 games, right? Like, we never did a, an Atacon deck, or, you know, an Atacon game. We never had a, a Death From Below counterfeit copies game. <laughs> we haven't had a Remitter plus a Bombable Guardian game. So we're 0 for our first 14 with what our deck is supposed to do. We may actually get the combo this time and finally do <laughs> today with our meme tier decks. Finally do what our deck's supposed to do today. We may actually have it. You cannot escape. I'm not gonna use the Burl Steel. I'll let the three let the three three die. Yeah, if it works, this will be the first time for Guardian Remitter. But yeah, I haven't haven't been impressed with the Allegiance card, so yeah, I could definitely see going Glimpse the Beyond, you know, Glimpse for more card advantage and Babbling Virg. Okay, so here's what our deck's supposed to do. We got eight mana Guardian. We got Remitter. Let's see what we get for the ten drop. There's six tens. Three of them very good. Three of them not very good. Let's see if we get lucky. Get a good one. And of course, we got a bad one. I'm not very good at this game. I do not. I do not get our card combos or any luck. I am not good at this game. You know, if I if I was good at this game, I would have you know put in a good ten drop with Remitter. 
but I am not good at this game. I mean, no, it's 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 50-50 to get a good 10 drop. You have... There are six 10s, and three of them are really good, and three of them are not very good. That was one of the bad 10. That was one of the bad three. But it looks like they were holding Will of Ionia, which Will of Ionia would have made two of the 10 drops also not very good. So Will of Ionia would have made it where there was only Sithria for a good one. There's Sithria, Atacon, and... Um, the Freljord one, the 10, 10, 10, 10 regen. That one's really good to hit. She who wanders. Yes, and that is true. All six are upgrades over the generic 5-5 five five that is usually in play. I'm reading are still good. In case you're wondering. So that's what we're going to try to do next game. We will not succeed. <laughs> What are they even casting the Mystic Shot on? Oh, oh, on the Ice Filler, sure. But yeah, that's, that's game. GG's! Okay, so there was our Remitter Yetis. There is some power here, but it looks like every other deck can just go over the top of this. That's all of our other decks. Like, all of our opponents were just going over the top of it. Um, the Remitter Guardian, you know, is very inconsistent, and it's also, you know, like, we only got to pull it off just that one time, our opponent killed our 10 drop, and, you know, like, besides that, our, our deck really has nothing else going for it. I, it doesn't seem like vanilla 5-5s five are defeating anybody, you know, you're kind of down cards with the Trapper and, and stuff like that, and so, um, wasn't very impressed with any, I don't know, wasn't very impressed with the deck. I think... We, we kind of talked about it in there. I think you just got to have a lot more card advantage and be able to go bigger with this kind of deck because it wasn't too impressed with how it was right now. Um, we talked about like maybe Babbling Bjerg instead of Outriders to help us, you know, draw our top end. Obviously, if you hit Ancient Yeti with Babbling Bjerg, that's not the best, but at least, you know, you're getting that out of the deck so it won't be one of your draw steps. You know, you're still drawing cards and you do have the ability to find Sejuani or Abominable Guardian. Um, so yeah, you could have, if you, and if you take out Outriders, you can actually play some Shadow Isles cards, so you could have some Shadow Isles interaction, but you could also have Glimpse from Beyond, um, to be able to help you find the combo, because it seems really difficult to actually find Remitter and Abominable Guardian, 
so it's only doing it the one time and i don't know maybe like some other maybe some other top end stuff because we were able to get like five fives in play but then we couldn't like have the five fives ever you know like they wouldn't really win games like maybe you get like some buried in ice or i don't know some something right you know i don't i don't know the the exact answer but um the power level of the deck didn't seem there it's like you could do theoretically you could have a remitter kill a guardian and put in a really powerful 10 drop but that seems like that's a seems like that's not easy to do and um you know like as as you saw we we didn't do it a single time out of five games and so if that's not gonna happen very often you got to be able to win games another way and it kind of feels like that's our our way to win games so probably need another champion to begin with probably want like some babbling bjerg some glimpse from beyond you know like just some some more powerful stuff that's what it kind of felt like all right, but that's going to be it here for Remitter Yetis. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, let me know how you're doing with the Yetis and everything. I, I, I see a lot of people doing uh, well with Yetis and really liking the Yetis, but I don't. I just don't think, I, I, maybe I don't have very good luck with Yetis. I've only played Yetis a couple of times since we've had Abominable Guardian, and I just haven't had the luck of like having like real powerful stuff with them we did have the one game here you know our one win was one where we did have multiple yetis in play and then we got to stalking shadows and hit guardian and got multiple guardians in play so we did get to have a cool yeti game one time but uh i've been struggling with them so far playing them anyway that's going to be it here for remitter yetis so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video